Drivers may feel relief to know congestion pricing is paused indefinitely, but that's not necessarily the case for the MTA. And that's because the transit agency already had the funds from congestion pricing earmarked for big projects and improvements. Not to mention some of the money was already spent on preparing for the toll. Let's get right to Good Days. Lizette Nunez, she joins us now with the details from the Upper East Side. Lizette, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Tashani. Yeah, a lot of money was spent. We're talking $500 million just on the equipment alone. So that includes the gantries. And now the big question is, well, where is the state going to get the funding to fund basically all of those uh, improvement projects for the transit system? So the governor has a few options here. She could potentially tap into the state's reserve. She could also use money that has been set aside uh, for all of the lawsuits that the state was dealing with. The third option is to increase taxes on businesses. I have come to the difficult decision that implementing the planned congestion pricing system risks too many unintended consequences for New Yorkers at this time. In a stunning reversal, Governor Hochul has put the controversial congestion pricing plan on hold indefinitely. In a pre-recorded video, Hochul citing concerns that this would negatively impact the city's post-pandemic recovery. The decision coming just a few weeks before cars were going to be charged $15 during peak hours to drive south of 60th Street in Manhattan. One MTA board member says he was shocked. The MTA capital program was relying on the $1 billion, which they could bond to make $15 billion per year towards the $55 billion capital program. Congestion pricing was supposed to help fund projects like the Second Avenue subway expansion, plus make more subway stations wheelchair accessible. It's unclear what the MTA will do next with those projects, plus the $500 million contract that was already inked to pay for equipment such as the gantries and license plate readers. Some say that the governor could tap into reserves or increase tax on corporations. Supporters of congestion pricing say the plan would have reduce gridlock and pollution. The governor has assembled a team who've worked for years, who've spent an immense amount and invested tremendously to make congestion pricing a reality. And she's gone and thrown it away. From New Jersey, the outer boroughs, Westchester and Rockland counties, most drivers say they are breathing a sigh of relief. As a driver, I hate it. But on a sy systemic view, it makes sense. I think that's a good break. It's just in time for summer so that we can commute into the in and out of the city without an extra expense. So another part to all of this are the lawsuits. Given that the plan was just paused, the lawsuits will move forward. However, if this plan is scrapped altogether, then there might not be a need for those lawsuits after all. That's latest here on the Upper East Side. Tashani, back inside to you. Lizette, thank you.